didn't update the game. Dumb dumb. Page of cards, there we go. Right. So I have a, I want to do a Trukin today because I'm going to be playing a, a mutant on my YouTube, my next, my season two of Caves of Card on YouTube. So I kind of want to keep it fresh for myself. Just swap over the audio. There we go. All right. This is the point where everybody probably leaves. <laughs> Here we go. Right, let's uh, let's get some beautiful card music on the go. New music, by the way, just added. Here we go. I've got something in mind for what I want to play. Doesn't really matter what we pick to start, although cold resist is very, very good. But you know what? Let's go artifacts. Twenty one is fine. Uh, you know what? Just give me slightly more willpower. Yes. Yes. I like that. And of course, when you're playing a true kin, you take the best. Well, one of the top five. Uh, cybernetics in the game, which is night vision. It's so much better than mutant night vision. It's unreal. And let's go. Okay. Um, this guy can be called... Clevius Von Winkle. You know what? We'll give him a friggin... I'm not going to go chaotic this time. We're going to give him an, a very respectable color scheme. You know what that will be? We'll go ninefold. It's kind of nice. Look at that. Beautiful. There are some really cool cybernetics, but the RNG associated with them has stopped you from playing true kin. Yeah, so I mean, you're you're kind of half right. Although we, I will admit, once you get to the stilt, and you you're guaranteed at least one gutsmonger to spawn that you can buy cybernetics from. Um, what I want to do with this build, I have some very specific cybernetics in mind. Number one, my personal favorite cybernetic is giant hands. Giant hands allow you to wield two-handed weapons with a single hand. Um, and then if you couple that with a gun rack, you can have two, like, heavy weapons. And in fact, you can actually have four heavy weapons if you can pick up uh, helping hands as well. Also, if we get brain brine, we're drinking it. I've, I've become a recent convert to, to brain brineism. I used to always be scared of like, oh, it's brain brine. What is going to sap my ego? Yeah, who cares? You could get a mutation. So the run I've just done on YouTube has had... Um, we were Trukin and we picked up some mutations from drinking Brain Brine, which is pretty cool. We got an Isakari rifle to start there as well, which is great. Let's equip that. Uh, stun Rod? Not really a fan. Dagger? Also not really a fan. We'll have to sort that out in a moment. Guess we can keep that equipped. Okay, night vision is on. By the way, if you don't like the constant green effect from night vision, you can turn that option off in the settings. 
Hey, Cyanomaniac man. Good to see you again. It's been a while. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Had a very good day of streaming so far. Had a big raid. Lots of new followers. We've just gone over... We now have 316 followers. I think like 18 people have followed me today. So yeah, really good. <laughs> you found a cybernetic that placed every creature except one target into stasis for a while. That sounds awesome. I think I know the thing you mean. I can't remember what it is. Is it called... Um... Is it called... Skipped my mind right now. I would love the carbide hammer. If we can afford it. Pressure floor. You know I love that. Do we want to go hammer build? We don't really have the strength to pull off a good one. But a carbide hammer early game is good damage. So. Why the hell not? We start with phase harmonic, which is also really, really handy. Not so much at the moment, but later on in the game. Oh, no, no, no. Here's what we do, actually. First thing we do is we just go hand in. We go level up for free here with Argive done this so many times now this is all like second nature any good bits not really give him folding chair give him another folding chair it's the same thing okay now we can loot these poison gas rip the leather cap another free salve injector you know what else is really good as a true kin IV ports. It doubles the effect, uh, it doubles the time that a tonic is applied for. And they stack, so you can install multiple of them. Pretty powerful stuff. Honestly, give me the bronze sword for now. And then just give me ammo. I think I like going sword build early game. Um, because sword is very, very versatile. Let's do a quick auto explore here of the village. We'll also pick up the location of our first historic site. Up here. It normally spawns very close by. Yeah, it's right there. I'm gonna use. Do my usual stick here of uh, going beneath Chopper. Cardual builds are good. If you've got the strength for it, this is a bad start. Hold on. Yeah, if you've got the strength for it, cardual builds are really fun. I also love axe builds. If you've used the new tree, the new single weapon fighting tree, cardual and axe become unbelievable. So, spoilers, but I in my YouTube series, I killed, I killed a Chrome Pyramid at level 37. Just by using a, a really lucky axe and just constantly dismembering. It was really easy, to be honest. And that's like a level 56 creature. Alright, good. Those guys killed each other, which is huge. Okay, I didn't expect you to go over there. Got an artifact here. Electrified staff. Hmm. Well, that's some money. We don't have much uh, ego. So, we're going to have to make some money early game by just looting crap. That's a bear. Um... Yes, that you could hit me through that. If I could kill you before the warden, I'd be very happy. I'm very happy. You don't want to fight a bear at level 2, trust me. I've done it on many dailies recently and it's never ended well for me. Ooh, what we do want though is a two-handed iron longsword. Perfect. 
do not like all of these rain. Thank you very much, Snapjaw. I appreciate that. Um, first thing I'm going to invest in, I mean, I should probably grab Scavenger if we're going tinkering, but I think, honestly, give me early wayfaring. I'm also, I've been thinking about doing another, I know a lot of people don't like them, but I want to do another tier list stream, but with skills. Stuff, good stuff. But yeah, at midnight tonight, my time, there's a new tutorial coming out. Electrified Iron Longsword. That's just good for, um, for straight up damage. So let's equip that. By the way, this new update has some annoying bugs. Yeah, I've heard about that. How did you get through the pyramids AV? Good question. So normally what you do is you just tinker up a bunch of EMP grenades, Mark III, and you just keep the shield down. However, there is one... Uh, there is a, there's a cybernetic called Force Modulator. And Force Modulator allows you to walk through force fields. So, the, here's the best way to kill a Chrome Pyramid, right? You need to have Dueling Stance and Swipe. You cut off the Swarm Rack. As soon as the Swarm Rack's been cut off, they don't regen that. That's just gone. And that's the thing that will kill you. Then you can switch to like an axe and you can just constantly dismember over and over. Every time you crit with single weapon fighting, your stuff comes off of cooldown. So you can keep doing it over and over again. Right, let's see how we do against this brute here. He hit us real hard there. Pushing it a little bit here. Right, we do not have the pen. We do not have the penetration. That's what she said. Um, bad time to get impaled there, as always. Would love to use this. Four pen. I don't think we're going to get higher than four pen at the moment. Five. Perfect. Let's go back to this. Where to God, man. Come on. You stink. Good thing he didn't follow me. Would have been embarrassing. Perfect. <laughs> Another one as well. Yeah, we need strength. First time we level up here, you know we're going strength. We're about to hit level 3, which means we get an attribute point. Thank you. Did that have much of an effect? Yes, it took us to 6 pen instead of 5, which is huge. Who doesn't like tier lists? Some people don't, but I like them. Doesn't the unshielded pyramid still have like 35 AV? Yeah. But if you have decent strength or if you have a vibro capesh, it doesn't really matter. How can you see that far with night vision? Because this is a uh, Trukin night vision. And it's incredible. And I recommend every time you play Trukin that you take it as your starting mutation because it's kind of invaluable. Unless you want to go like a carbide hand bone kind of build. This is what it actually looks like. Um, press the option. There, if you have this enabled which it is by default this is what night vision looks like it's a bit much for me personally it's nice that they have that effect but i, I don't like it so you can just disable that um disables full screen color effects and that brings it back to normal 
Good stuff. Blade oil. Nice. Probably will never use it, but good to have nonetheless. It feels like I'm playing... So every day I do the CUD daily for YouTube. It feels like I'm playing that now. Because this is like... This is my go-to way of leveling up early. And getting decent items. Ooh, a book on the floor. Yes. Oh, I thought you were a turret then. I got really scared for a moment. But yeah. Tearless Night Vision. Tearless Night Vision? Sorry, I was reading Trukin Night Vision is incredibly good. Bad time. Bad, bad impalement yet again. Oops, your eye. You guys remember the John Dacre video? You seen that? That's like a classic YouTube vid. My name is John Dacre. Alright, we haven't seen any scaries yet. Just a bunch of uh, free XP. Freaking him. Dude, the Young Ivory is early game, honestly, the, the biggest enemy. Forget Seekers of the Sightless Way. Okay, we got Wayfaring. First thing we want to do, we want to go... This is risky, but it often works. You get Salt Tunes immediately. And you know what, for now, we'll also take... Kind of want. We're gonna go heavy cooking this build also, but for now, give me a uh, meditate just for quicker regen. No, yeah, it's way better than mutant night vision. I do still really like mutant night vision just because it's kind of useful, but yeah, it does suck by comparison. Okay, we kill bats on this channel. That's an Electrofugue. Um, let him come past. Pop him once. Pop him twice. Pop him three times a lady. That was 125 XP, not bad. Alright, keep popping the bats. That's a slug snout. I didn't even see that. Who are you fighting, my friend? As long as it's not me, that's great. You're fighting the cannibal. Alright, pop a witchwood. This is a risky situation right here. No confusion? God damn it. Alright, kill the slugs now. Kill the friggin' centipede. Centipede's dead. Pull back. Stay away from this friggin' brute. Or hulk, sorry, they're called. There we go. Now we just get a bit of space between us and him. And we start popping him. And hopefully hitting. There we go. Big hits only. He's got a pocketed vest. Hold on. Nobody, nobody escapes. Alright, what do we have here? Crimson Hood... I think we really want high explosive grenade you know what? take that chest as well we might need it later on no thank you how would we fare against the spider absolutely fine damn did you just kill that Beetle bump. Yeah, so what 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 do you guys like like in terms of true kit in terms of cybernetics? 
A lot of people like carbide hand bones. Which is fine. They're okay. I wish there was a bit more flavour to um, unarmed builds. Would be cool. Right, now things get serious. Uh, we may as well equip the buckler on our arm here. Yeah, onboard recoiler's cool. So, I just installed, for the first time, I installed a Cathedra, if you know what a Cathedra is. It's definitely the rarest uh, cybernetic. I had a Ruby uh, Cathedra. I installed it on my YouTube Let's Play. We had it for like two episodes, and it got melted off, and it just broke. And I was like, well, I'll never find one of those again. But it's really cool. It spread fire around me in a massive area. And it also allowed me to fly. It was pretty decent. This is a good weapon. This is slender as well. So it's super light. In fact, I like this so much. I'm going to equip it. And next time I level up, I'm going to spec into Cudgel a little bit. Since it's really cheap. Look at that big hit. Beautiful stuff. Okay, here they come. Beautiful. I know there's a centipede around here somewhere. Level 5. And there's an injector on the ground right here as well. The new run is an amazing legendary apple farmer daughter with multiple legs. Oh yeah, I remember you saying about this. Did you... Did you, like, dominate the... <laughs> did you dominate the apple farmer's daughter? Or did you start as that uh, custom class? Alright, let's grab uh, Cudgel. As soon as we can afford Bludgeon, you know we'll take it. It's so good. Hungry. I also want to spec into cooking. After making my video today, my tutorial, I'm like, I really need to do more cooking. Like, early game. Get duffed up, my friend. Sure, I'll take all of that. Of course, the real reason we're going after this... Who is this legendary centipede here? Jesus Christ. Thank you. We got some really bad rolls there for our, uh, from agility. Yeah, the real reason we want to go for this uh, corpse down here is because it has a credit wedge on it. The sphere of negative weight is obviously a huge bonus, but the credit wedges are so rare. Pressure floor, bing bong. Alright. Yes, yes. You dominated her, nice. Did you kill your original body? Are you trapped in trapped inside her now? Man, everything this is such a sexual conversation. You're trying to get level 15 time dilation. That reduces the quickness of an enemy to zero. Wow. Yeah, I've never got it that high. You know what level 15 is really good? Is clairvoyance. Oh man. I love getting clairvoyance now. Level 15, you can just see the whole map. Straight away. Okay, I do not like being pincered here by these uh, centipedes. Need to get out of the water as quickly as possible. This is a scary, scary Mother Mary. No dairy. Beautiful. Oh, baby. And that's how you escape. 
Not like this. <sighs> Their way right there. Hmm. Tempting. Come to me, Mr. Norworm. That is your real name. That's a friggin' slug snout. We got really lucky to encounter him right here. The only thing I'm scared of right now are Glow Moth and Slumbling. Everything else doesn't matter. Ooh, spring loaded boots. Alright, level 6, plus 1 to each attribute. Love it. Um, you, If you're going Kajal, you have to take Bludgeon. I mean, that's just a rule. Okay, do we have a centipede nest? Oh, good, good, good. Your original body is gone. Nice. I. W what did you need? F what ego did you have to get that? I. I'm really obsessed with the idea of beating the game as a uh, as a snap jaw. Um. So I quite often will. Uh, will dominate a snap draw and then kill my body and then try and beat the game that way. It's a lot of fun. It's it's not easy, but it is really fun. Um definitely take this. Let's keep heading north here. 24 ego. Okay, so nothing too crazy. Just hmm, awesome. Okay. Right, these crabs are going to freak me out, so I'm waiting for these guys to, to roll on over. Okay, now, now comes the test. Can we crab? If yes. Yeah. Stun lock. Good, good, good. Kill that guy. Now... You are a different matter, my friend. The Quillipede is still pretty difficult. I see two of them right now. Take out one crab and I'll be happy. Do I push my luck? One. Beautiful. Right, let's fall back with this crab. Quillipede is after us. Let's break away momentarily. The reason I love the early game is because you do have to think about stuff like this. Late game, you can just go mashing, you know. Yeah, keep... Keep his attention, Mr. Bat. Good, 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 good. Alright, let's try and shoot this guy. We're out of shots, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, I don't really want to fight this guy in melee. Please don't make me. What I can do, however, is switch to a bow here. Stunned. Remain stunned. Stunned. Remain stunned. Oh, man. And that is why friggin' Bludgeon is such a good... Look at that. You can just stun lock enemies, man. Even when they're stronger than you. I do see another Quillipede here, so... Let's take our time. Snapjaw run would be fun. Yeah, I do have a couple of videos on uh, on YouTube where from the, the VOD channel where I've tried to... I've got it sort of far... 
I often get a bit too overconfident with the Snapjaw. Snapjaw versus Chrome Pyramid. Now that would be a showdown. Starting 24 Ego is fine for a level 1 legendary NPC. Yeah, that's a, that's a big point investment though. 20, 24 in one stat. Yeah, so Cyanomaniac. Penetrating Radar is one of the things I am looking out for. It's one of my favourites. It's so much better than Night Vision. Which is crazy because you can see pretty much the whole map with night vision but to be able to just see around you behind walls is so much nicer i've actually never really messed with its compute power that much but i would love to can you get it to like whole map level right, there's the there's the body that we came for just me versus the quillipede now wow did we just get a lucky yeah, we killed it. We hit it for free damage and it died. <laughs> okay, um if we get charged, we can get charging strike. Whatever. Um What I really want to do right now is get cooking early. As well as I mean harvestry we can learn for free. I can't remember where teaches butchery, but we can get butchery, sure. We get Carbide Chef right now. For a chance to get inspired. This is what we came for. This here is a sphere of negative weight. I'm not going to try and ID it just yet. Credit wedge, pickaxe, minor helmet. We're good to go. Also, since we're here, we can go and get the, uh, the Gershling corpse. Since we're very close to Red Rock. Didn't even see you there, my friend. We get a daze. <sighs> That's what I was worried about. Um... Hold on. I always like to keep this uh, unchecked, by the way. Something that I meant to mention the other day. I need to go and heal because that guy messed me up pretty bad. On. Get the days. Oh. Not to a centipede. Let you deal with that. All right. Let's go grab the Gershling corpse from Red Rock. I forgot to take the quest, but we can take it retroactively. Didn't go that far with your true kin, it was about 20 tile. Yeah, that's really good. There's a legendary snap draw here. Let's check him out. Hello, friend. Disliked by unshelled reptiles, perfect. Also, we have a uh, electrofuge here, which is very scary. Let them come to me here. Kill them neatly. So I can grab all of my shit from uh, from a single tile. Just let these uh, crabs come over as well. Okay, legendary has seen me. Okay, we fall back here. When you bring a legendary across a map boundary, it automatically comes with its entire entourage, by the way. Just so you know. Now, what weapon are you using, my friend? Battle axe and a dagger. Okay. Hmm. Not sure how I feel about that. I'm sure it'll be fine. 
Either way, we might as well take advantage of... What does this guy have? Iron. Okay, that's, I, that's what I thought. I was like, this guy's hitting hard. We still don't have great AV, by the way, so that's why I'm playing a little bit more cautious. Still, as long as we can do that and we can fall back and we can heal, I think we'll be okay. Right, where's the legendary? It's a steel utility knife. Let's take those. Ah. Uh. Okay, we, we got the stun lock. There we go. And you know what? Unshelled reptile rep is always good. We are getting kind of heavy here. We're probably going to have to drop some uh, some stuff. Any armor that I have that I don't want, definitely drop this. And this. Uh, no, not the pocketed vest, sorry. Let me pick that back up. That's worth a little bit of money. Could be enough to, to get us a, uh, a null worm corpse. Didn't even see you there, my friend. More worried about the electrofuge than anything. Alright, we're down to 2 AV since our helmet has been cracked. There's also a, uh, a bone worm around here somewhere. He might already be dead. Yeah, I think so. Oh, that guy hit me hard. I was just mashing. Good stuff, good stuff. Level are we? Level 7. Making good progress here. We are now under Red Rock, officially. Just gotta get to the center square, to get the Gershling. You just dropped a Carbide Dagger. That's nice. Alright, let's let these, uh, are you gonna move? Perfect, what do we see here? Nothing too scary. See no slumberlings, weirdly, which has me a little bit concerned. You normally see at least one around here. Some asphalt. Okay, level eight and inspired. Incredible stuff. Um, let's take butcher, spicer. Um, and then Harvestry we can learn in Joppa for free. I feel like the earlier I invest in- that's a slug snout. Shit, I didn't even pay attention. Alright, we found the perfect place to hide. Yes, you followed me, you absolute gimp. That also means free pig meat. Good stuff. Got him. Okay. Count awaited. That's nice. You're gonna kill the ape god for the fist. If I if I continue to go down bludgeon, if I spec into into strength. Yeah, that might be an option. I tend to like um, pick up. Lo I always get long blade because it's just really useful, and then I'll yeah I'll pick up like 
axe or cudgel as well. Okay, for our first ingredient here, we're going to go, we can keep it simple. We're going to go vine wafer for jerky. Super simple. Whenever we drink, there's a 25% chance to get plus 30 to 40% max HP for an hour. Thirst at half rate. Whenever you drop low 20 HP, don't. Obviously, this is the best one. That's just a static buff. You know, it's sometimes worth cooking with just the one ingredient because that will always give you a basic effect. If you cook with two or more ingredients, you get a trigger effect from that. Sometimes the trigger effects can be, eh, not that great. All right, how are we going to do against these uh, these gushlings here? It's fine. All right. And we make it back. We need to drop some stuff here. Let's drop. Wait, what? Oh man, it's a slender one. This would normally give us minus 10, but because it's slender, it's only giving us minus 5. That's almost not worth having, in my opinion. Also, we should definitely learn phase harmonic. And I guess we can learn sturdy. Um, I think I might sell that. And if we cook up... Sorry, not cook up. If we rip apart all of these bits, we should be good. Didn't mean to do that. I held down space for too long. We just wasted a blaze tonic. Which is very, very sad. But hey. That happens, you know? Oh, man. Sturdy could be good if you get overloaded. Yeah, I just I just personally don't find it that good of a, a tinkering recipe. It's actually I would argue it's much better in the early game than it is in the in the mid to late game. Just because you encounter so many like null worms and things early game, you know. Okay, let's keep moving. By the way, I always try and use my shift enter to move to a, an edge of a map. It's such a time saver. Although, ironically, it tends to lag a lot more than just using the mouse to move. Like if I do it now, well, that's actually fine. Let's go take this quest and hand it in retroactively. And then how about we go and do our, um, our first historic site? We have one very close by. We might be able to get a decent relic. First thing I need to do, if he's not dead yet, speak to the zealot for some extra free XP. I will then also do the water ritual with you, my friend. And with the elder, just like by apes, and the Napfali tribe. Eh. Teach me harvestry, that's perfect. Um, grab the quest here, go hand it into the Elder. I'm not going to drink with the Elder. Wait, where's my... Um... Did we not pick up? No, we have a Gershling corpse. There we go. Oh, got her. Hmm, do I now need to speak with Mehmet to hand this in? Is this bugged? Okay. Hmm. Hold on a moment. Okay. Can I hand it in now, or do I actually have to go back down there? 
Yeah, it looks like I might have to go back down there. And I have to... I have to do this because... Um, this gives you a guaranteed... Uber Nostrum Injector, which is such a valuable... Valuable find. But you know what? Worst case, we just get some extra XP here. Yeah. Okay, good. Give me, give me this kind of layout, and I'll be happy. Just, I really wasn't paying attention there. Good stuff. But then, I mean, I don't know why I'm exploring here. And then we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to go straight for the stilt. And... Um, hopefully, because I picked up Wayfaring and uh, Salt Dunes... Hopefully pick up some uh, some books along the way. Sure, give me it all. Oh, snap your den down here. Let's heal up. Grab that. this okay I'm appreciating all of these uh, these chests for sure let's keep moving hold up don't forget that free bandage as well all right there we go now we can go oh okay so used to just be able to kind of cheese this by preemptively grabbing the gershling Apparently not anymore. Now we can hand that in. And now we can go and hopefully power level a little bit. Okay, there we go. We got our guaranteed Uber Nostrum injector. Sun grenade, fix it spray foam. Drop this. Alright, we are pretty heavy. I missed to see if Tam had already restocked. No is the answer. I think our two... That's a 2d3. Yeah, this is still better. Let's go see if there's anything we can buy off of Argive at least. Yeah, kind of bummed that we got a slender sphere of negative weight. That's a That's a real shame. Fire suppression, that's really good later on. Not so much right now. Schema soft for pistol and for energy cells. Interesting. And a comm interlock, which I don't really care about. Woolly is good for later as well. Um... I don't really need it most of the time. Base cannon, that's obviously going to be level 3. Yeah. Alright, no problem. Um, Let's try and get to... No, 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 no. Hold on. We're going to go to the historic site. Let me dump some stuff in this chest. We don't need on us right now. Like all of this. We'll come back for you. Right, let's go get a relic. Oh, wait, hold on. Grab that for later as well. 
Did I see a force bracelet? Wait, where's the force bracelet? Where was the force bracelet? Oh, that's a salt hopper. Thank you. Hide. Was it just a recipe for a force bracelet? Or was it an actual... Okay, we get another attribute point. Um... E... So we already know Tinker 2, even though generally you have to be level 23 intelligence. If we ever want Tinker 3, obviously we need to go 29, which is insanely high, but it, it could be worth it. It's not really a priority right now, I would argue. Oh, it was just a blueprint. It's probably too late to go and get that, but I might go back and check it. I'm loving this new music. I don't know if you can hear it in the background. There's a drum there that never used to be there. You know what? I think I will take uh, another point of intelligence that means that at level level 12 will be 24 intelligence which means we can really start getting a bunch of skill points every level the earlier we do this the more value we get out of it so yes I would like to go strength but um, yeah the earlier we, we take this the more value we'll be getting ultimately I do kind of want fasting way as well here's what we do we take fasting way and then we take scavenger if we're going tinkering which we are kind of we kind of have to have scavenger also it's just a great skill to have all right so currently lost another salt hopper all right thoughts and prayers two of them I don't like that one friggin' bit, my dude. Please don't fail me. Beautiful stuff. Where's the other one? I know there's one behind this tree somewhere. Come on, you gotta get the stun. Shook it off. Good for you. And there's a snapjaw shotgunner as well. Thank you for the shotgun. Um, honestly, number three bit is very valuable. So let's rip it apart. More Resh Floor, dude. We are going to power level like crazy at the stilt. Assuming we make it that far. There okay, we are still lost. In translation. Starring Scarlett Johansson and Bill Murray. Actually, a movie I've never seen. I hear that it's pretty good. Don't really know what it's about. Nice kill, doggy. Oh, hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. All right, we regain our bearings. What I like to do whenever I regain my bearings, I still explore the map if I can. Because, uh... I'll, chances are I'll never come back here. Look at this stun lock on this tortoise. Poor thing. Chances are we'll never come back here, so we may as well finish this map before we leave. Also, I'm loving killing all these tortoises because... Um, it's just free XP. Also, Witchwood Bark. Alright, good stuff. I mean, apart from being impaled. 
All right, here we go. Historic site number one. Tagash. What kind of enemies will we face in Tagash? Dragonflies. Now that is annoying. Since we are not very good at ranged combat and we do have a very limited amount of... Once we get underground, it won't be an issue. But above ground here, it's going to be a real pain in the ass. Also, there's a water weep here. And luckily... Alright, you know what? I will explore the surface at the end. For now... Ooh, we got a bunch of water vine farmers. Down here. Interesting. Find my bum. Bum, 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 bum. Water vine, my bum. Alright, um... They had it coming, you know. A uh, bottle of oil, I will take that. I'll also set that to auto collect. Okay. Books. Books, glorious books. And a navigation system. Okay, so this will help us not get lost. Only cost one point. You know what? We may as well install it since it's here. Let's upgrade our license. Let's install it. We'll install it in our... Uh, in our hands. We can look at our hand and there's like a compass built into it. Okay. Damn, that guy was much tougher. He's got crocosins. Perfect. Uh, counterweighted two-handed steel longsword. Way better weapon than what we're using. Also counterweighted. Ah, uh, but we have specced. The problem is we've, we have specced into Kajul at this point. But this is counterweighted, dude. We'll swap between the two. Another jug of oil. Right. Second floor, here we go. Is that a statue of Reshef? Sure looks like it. It's not. Damn. But it does it did give us another historic site. Can't be upset with that. Yeah, I don't like having my shit cracked. They okay, let them come. Let them eat cake. Scaled sandals, we'll sell those. My only worry now is that now we're fighting humanoid enemies down here. When I get to the, uh, there's going to be a legendary water vine farmer almost definitely at the bottom here. There's a chance they may have some really f sick mutations that might mess me up. Like Sundermind or something. Okay, we got a freezing vine raper. Vine raper? Vine reaper, Jesus. Shoot this guy. Bong, bong, bong. 12 misses in a row. Greatest uh, bowman of all time. Why are you running, dude? This guy does not want to fight. Okay. Three floors down now. Ooh, okay. Now, where there's one of these guys, there's many. So... I learned how these guys spawn, by the way. Basically, whenever you get one, a segmented Mirthworm, there's like a f there's like a certain percentage chance that it will uh, create another one next to it. And then for each time it creates another one, the percentage gets lower and lower until it fails and they stop spawning. Oh, 
Luckily they're all coming from one direction and this is just free XP at this point. You recently found a historic site with like 10 legendary creatures. Yeah, those are the best because you often find it with um, chrome idols. Um, those are the best because they give you a whole bunch of rep with other random factions. And if you know about the 10 pointed asterisk quest, uh, Thomas, it's a great way of getting that achievement. Since it can be pretty hard to do on your own. Take out the dragonflies. Anybody else here? Even with our to hit bonus, these guys are still tricky. Who is this legend? Dude, we cannot hit this dragonfly to save our lives. There we go. Meditate is just like paying out so much. Okay, we got a techno scan. I don't really care about this. It's kind of nice, but not as good as a bio scanner. And Pentacepts for extra charge. Uh, this is actually pretty good. That I might maybe install at some point. Okay, what do we have here? Rubber gum. Cool. Another salve injector. Alright, floor four. Here we go. I hear a turret. I also see the legendary chest. Let's wait here. Really don't like hearing that turret. I think we swap back to... The uh, Warhammer here because we have a crab coming. Gonna have to get a, a nice stun lock on that. Come upstairs, please, my friends. Pick up the dragonfly, stun lock the crab. Yeah. Oh, you, you can hit me from there, huh? A bit cheap. How does it feel? Come through this way, please. No, no, don't kill each other. Come back. Ah, <sighs> whatever, man, whatever. Oh, that was a legendary. Hey. Goat rep. By the way, I have a mod installed that makes it so that we can, um, we can pray at statues for a bunch of, um, temporary rep bonuses. There's a there's another turret down here. That might be enough to level me up. So. Perfect. Oh, hello. <gasps> There's an icon merchant here. A jeweler. Sorry. Interesting. Um. Right. Level 10. What do we want? Got everything I want in tinkering for now. We don't need to pick up jungle just yet. Fry would be nice. Similarly, if we go um, start working towards Callist. But I think honestly, for now, give me uh, give me some tactics. Gonna save up for charge. 
All right, having a jeweler here is nice. Um, oof. If only, if only we could afford that. A jewel encrusted Christ steel greatsword. Or crystal, depending on. I say Christ steel. Um, damn. That would have been nice. Similarly, the shield. When we get to the stilt, we're going to learn shields for free from the uh, from the warden. Probably not a bad idea to start selling some of our garbage right now. Swapping it out for a um, some trade goods. Get one topaz. Probably going to pick up a lot more Isakari rifles in our future, so I don't mind selling those. Similarly, Love Injector can go. Neck ring. That looks like a pretty good trade to me. Don't need the torches. There we go. Cool. Right, let's see what we get. We get the Rhythmic Gloves of Tagash. Let's see what these do. Plus one willpower gives us Temporal Fugue at level one. As a Trukin, that's really good. You had a Crab Historic Site. With seven or eight legendary crabs each floor. Yeah, I had one of those my very last playthrough, Cyanomaniac, funnily enough. On my YouTube Let's Play. It was a double relic site with extra floors. By the end of it, you had minus 12k rep. Yeah, they you are you're you are the equivalent of like a certain dictator who I shan't name in my stream for TOS reasons. To them. Hey, these gloves are alright. They're not great. You know, one one AV is kind of garbage. Extra willpower is nice, but Temporal Fugue, that's a true kin. Pretty sweet. Best of all, we get Credit Wedge. You know? Speaking of uh, skills here, we should probably... Recharge does not need to be on here. Sprint always stays off. We know what mate camp and sprint is. That's fine. You know what? Let's have a little fugue fun. Books. Books are kind of our next objective here. What level is our temporal fugue is actually level 2 because of our ego. You know what I wouldn't mind is a um, is a friggin' Nullworm Skull for a helmet. With a plastic bag as a helmet. Good stuff. Not a bad uh, um, early historic site here. Illuminated book. That's going to be worth a lot more XP. Also, there is also a becoming nook here that we uh, can't get to. So let's just rectify that. Inflatable axons. Eh. I would never personally use that. Good on you if you do, though. <gasps> Scary. Bit of an overreaction on my part, but still, it was kind of scary. You know what? Look. Yes. Take me to the campfire, please. We are inspired, so uh, let's cook up a new recipe here. 
Um, should we go random? We'll go random and we'll go food cube. I don't remember what food cube causes. Plus one ego for the rest of the day because it's tasty. Not That's not the effect. Every time you make a recipe, you have 10% chance of it being tasty. You can always guarantee get uh, tasty by cooking with salt, by the way. Plus four willpower and reveals a secret. Now this is a good recipe. Unfortunately, it uses a cycle gland. But, um... Plus four willpower. And we learn the location of a legendary giant beetle. Not bad. Right, I think we're done here. Okay, so... First things first, we need to make our way... Back to the still. I will upgrade my license as well before we go. And I guess we can install Pentacepts right now. Because we are going to learn charge as soon as we can afford it. Now we go back, we grab all of our gear, we drag it over to the stilt. And as we go through the desert, we keep an eye out for uh, ruins. And um, we hopefully get rich by picking up books. What's the plan? Okay, another salt hopper. Of a toitus. Thank you for the free XP, my friend. Alright, we regain our bearings. Let's do a quick once over. Make sure we don't miss anything. Just a couple apples, it looks like. So, let's go grab our loot from this chest. Also, just out of curiosity, where was that other historic site? Way over in the boots there. Yeah, no thank you. Grab all that. Yep, no problem. Right, let's go. Now we begin a very dangerous journey, potentially. It would only take one dawn glider to mess us up. Let's pray for a good still. You can get some mutations from a moth later on. What, a gamma moth you mean? Uh, yeah, that's true, you can. I wouldn't recommend it, but you definitely can. I wouldn't recommend that as a true kin, just because your precognition doesn't last as long. The best way, I think, getting um, a mutation as a true kin is by drinking brain brine and hoping and praying okay let's read any engraved stuff that they might have here um i don't know if there's a downside to trading in all of our secrets right now i don't think there is it always gives a fixed amount, I believe. Gain the level. Okay, so let's learn charge. And then after that we can grab charging strike. Um, there is a benefit, I believe, to giving books in later on in the game. Since I think there's slightly... The amount of XP you get slightly depends on the value and I think a higher ego increases that oh I definitely can't drink with you my friend nobody likes you all right you are chill as always okay we need a bit more rep to be able to learn uh, shield that's fine 
Okay, Shiba is a dog. A lot of XP. What do we do? Do we hodl or do we give it in now? Like, I'm going to put down a chest here. I'm going to keep books in it. But uh, if you guys want me to trade it in now, I'm happy to. Otherwise, we can save for one big trade later on. Save the books. Okay. Tell you what, if we reach level twenty, we'll we'll do a we'll do a book, a book bonanza. Or maybe we'll go even higher. All right. What about you, my friend? Uh, disliked by sentient beings. That's fine. Disliked by the Gaia Whites. Hmm. We do need to kind of drink with you, but for now, I'm gonna leave it. Okay. An icor merchant right here is kind of sweet, isn't it? Let's do uh let's go check out the stilt real quick, see if we have any lucky dromad spawns or anything. By the way, come back with the golem. Not not a bad idea. I don't know if any of you saw this, but somebody was posting on on the Fud subreddit about following the wind. Has anybody tried this? Apparently there is a... It does lead to something. Hey, T-Rex. How are you doing, my dude? Hope you're having a fantastic evening or afternoon, wherever you are. I know where you are. You're in Canada. Doxed. Doxed live. By streamer. Alright, let's see what uh, recipes this guy has. Oh, dude! Congratulations! Yeah, how was it? I remember you saying. Happy birthday, man. Only 5k kilometers to find you. Yeah, exactly. Flexi weaved. Yes. One of the best. Um, it's going to cost us a whole bunch of money if we want to ID all of this, but it might be worth it. Definitely want flexi weave. I don't care about sturdy. Good trade. Um. Let's start by IDing the cheap stuff. Electromagnetic sensor. That will show us robots. Stable line with arm locks. That increases our agility when we fire weapons. Equipment rack. Hmm. This is actually really useful if we do get... If we install a gun rack. This allows us to still put things on our back if we want to install it. Thinking about it. Doubt we can afford it. Ankle tendons. Finally... Transparent skin. Don't care about it. All right, cool. Well, that's the guts manga. Let's speak to the icon merchant. Not that I think we could actually afford anything that they might have. Mostly, I want to check for any engraved and painted stuff. You did dishes all day. <laughs> yeah, that sounds uh, kind of like the day after a party. We were playing um, a game called We We Who Are About to Die earlier the fun game and i got raided um i got in fact i got such a huge raid i was like holy crap so i don't know if you know markstrom but he raided me with like 160 viewers and i got a whole bunch of people follow me which is great i was hoping to hit 300 follows today I was like three away and I'm at 316 now, so pretty pretty great. Pretty great day for me on stream. Right, always speak to your local kipper. As they sell good stuff. Also, we are inspired, so we should probably cook sooner rather than later. For maximum value. Uh, this time we'll go, you know what, we'll go jam and jam. 
And do we want to go three? We'll go jam, jam, jerky. Whenever you reflect damage, that's not going to happen. Reflect damage, 3% back, rounded up. 8 to 12 plus sa uh, against saves for bleeding. I mean, I guess I'll take some damage reflection. The, the saves against bleeding is also kind of nice. I'd actually take that, I think. Alright, cool. We got a little, uh, little bunch of recipes on the go. Fill the post. Haven't tested the wind, but if you go in any direction, there's always ruins. I I I wonder though if the if the wind leads to one of the Gersh Nephilim. Cause I've killed two of them, but I couldn't find any more. You know. Try and get all of the uh, spine fruit that we can. Then we sort of want to go after like dawn gliders, although we need a good weapon for that. Kipper here. Every time I see the dried lar petals, for some reason in my head it goes, oh, a drop of nectar. It's not a drop of nectar, unfortunately. Um, we could buy a recipe book if we want it. I don't really want to. We can't really afford it right now. Kind of a lackluster stilt so far. I mean, plenty of chefs, which is nice. Be exactly for this reason. Now, do we do we buy this? I think we'd be silly not to. Um, I will explore the rest of the map before I buy it, because it is a big risk, and it probably won't proc. But if it does proc, it will be definitely worth it. Also, I should definitely go and hand in that Resha floor before I buy it, because I think I will have a point that I can potentially put into my Ego. Hold on, there was nobody there, right? That was... no. Drops of Nectar, though. I've been really enjoying. I've got I gotten really lucky recently with uh, Drops of Nectar. It's so satisfying when they proc. Okay, this is our final map to explore here. Yeah, rubbish still. No bookbinders, no jewelers, nothing. Alright, let's go hand in this uh, Resha floor, see if it levels us up, and then we will go and buy that. Did. Plus one to each attribute. Beautiful. Also, we are inspired yet again. Okay, good, good, good. Okay. Can we afford the drop of nectar? Also, can I... Be sorry, before I do that, can I buy... I don't think we have the... Uh, we can just about get snake oiler. I think that's probably a good thing to invest into. We'll save up for snake oiler. All right, let's buy it. This is going to cost us pretty much all of the all of the stuff that we have, but if it procs, it will be totally worth it. Do I think it will proc? Probably not. But you got to try, huh? Oh, let's just do it this way. We need some extra water. All right, well, here we go. We are inspired. Let's uh, let's cook the drop of nectar along with some canned habit oil and some star apple jam. 25% chance to get plus one. Here we go. Chat, that's exactly why you always buy drop of nectar. And you never say, oh, but what if it doesn't proc? It doesn't matter. What if it does friggin' proc? Plus one to all attributes permanently. Bing bong. Plus four DV. 
temporarily. Which is great in and of itself. By the way, just so you know, if you use Inspired to cook a drop of nectar, it doesn't save as a recipe. You can never guarantee the effect. It won't even be in my recipe list if I look. Since I used it. But there you go, look. Plus one to everything. Incredible. That literally... We just got plus one to each of our modifiers there. Because we hit level 12, which is plus one to everything. We did the drop of nectar. That was a really good roll. We're already up to 25 intelligence. And it also means we can now learn Snake Oiler, since we uh, got some extra intelligence out of that. Okay, so let's leave. I will explore some ruins very carefully. If I see a single Dawn Glider, I see some shenanigans in the top right. Centipede's fine. I think it might be a centipede nest that I see. It's a bear. I didn't even see you. Camouflage. Camouflage. Bing bong. That's a lot of... That's a lot of dudes. Um... if my uh my fugue clone can do anything here obviously the longer we spend now trying to trying to heal up the more of these guys that will spawn so uh yeah Something just happened. There's a Dawn Glider here, isn't there? What was that? I know you saw that, chat. A burst of fire. Why am I still exploring? <gasps> we'll come back. Yes, there's a lair. Let's mark it on our map. Legendary Rifler. Tempting. If there weren't mushrooms all over the place, this is a good opportunity for us to make some money, though. Uh, let's fall back and let them come to us. Also, a gel weep is really lucky, because if we get a fungal infection, or a sickness, we will almost certainly need gel, especially for the, a sickness. Who is this legend here with the armor? Oh, he's got wax flab. That'll do it. Um, we will pick up these rifles for now. They're pretty heavy, but they do also sell quite well. Also, they'll grab the daggers because they they weigh almost nothing. That's weird. That shouldn't be procking at the bottom of the screen there. Do you see that? Again, as long as we don't have any um, Dawn Gliders, I'm, I'm fine with this. See if this guy will follow me. Worst mistake of your life, my friend. Good opportunity for us to level up as well. That was rusted. Man, this place is a hellhole, huh? This song is so friggin' intense. Right, that guy just dropped a, a luminous horse room. Thank you. That... Grab the horse room.
Not the gel weep. This guy definitely has wax flab. Okay. Engraved. Bad. Grab all that. Grab this. Play the hell away from that. Let's go kill the legendary. See if he's got any good rep. You could run for stair and gather wolf, uh, stair and gather floor, warm static, and recoil back. Yeah, totally. That's a good way of making money. It's a bit risky. Uh, there are, I, th I think there are probably easier ways, but yeah. I actually never really do that technique. My favorite thing is to just gather, um, a bunch of garbage and just get snake oil out. <laughs> hey, robot skis. How you doing, my dude? The stream is going very well today. We had a massive raid earlier of like over 100 people. Um, we've hit 200 followers on our main YouTube channel today. I've only been posting there for five weeks. And we've just got, we've got 316 followers now on Twitch. So yeah, crazy day. How are you, robot? Thank you guys for being here, by the way, as always. I really appreciate it, each and every one of you. I know that sounds really lame, but it's true. out this turret never mind turret got killed by a vine embarrassing was that a slug snout that just shot me go go gadget fresh air floor baby I think we actually should take a little trip back to the still and uh, trade some of this in. An albino ape pelt also. Hot oh, damn. That's some money right there. Alright, we are now officially in the disassembly phase of the Isakar rifles. Some stuff going on in here, man. That's a masterwork Isakari rifle. That one's worth picking up. Are we alone? Nope. Are we alone? Yeah, we are. Okay. Um, let me rip apart. couple of these. Let's grab the masterwork. Uh, where is it? Here. Congrats on beating 300 in this huge raid. Thank you very much, man. You're moving. Where are you moving? Dox yourself. Where are you moving? Let me guess. You are moving to... Vermont. Vermont, Canada. Hmm, I don't know about that. I don't know about fighting that guy. I do know about equipping this, though. Should be fine here, just be careful. Yeah, you don't need to go in here, Dingus. Why? Why are you in here? Explain to me. I hate sometimes I I, I think auto explore is is a piece of garbage. Um and that's exactly why. Learned a new historic site. Beautiful. It's called Bibble, which is a funny word to say. We're going to level up again here as well. Level 13. Inspired yet again.
My name is Ross. My name is Ross. Do 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 do. Rip that apart. All right. Vermont, Canada. Yeah, that's right. Not the normal Vermont, but Vermont, Canada. I just saw a floating glow sphere over here or something. Just a regular glow sphere. Well, you know what? That's sellable. You miss character gen. What are we? We are a uh, Trukin with night vision. And um, we just ate a drop of nectar. The very first one, and it procced, and we got plus one to all of our stats. We also have Temporal Fugue, because we have a pair of gloves that we found in a historic site that give us uh, Temporal Fugue. And we are specced into Cudgels right now. And um, we're kind of power leveling. I've got a bunch of books at the stilt waiting. I'm not going to hand them in yet. And we're just kind of... Uh, just exploring a legendary Isakari rifler. Don't like that. Do not like being stuck in a corridor with that dude. And we're about to make a bunch of money as well. Because uh, I've been looting like crazy. God, they're everywhere. I think going forward, we could probably mark the Isakari rifles as scrap. Just to auto disassemble them. Place goes pretty deep, huh? I saw something serrated over here as well. Yeah, longsword. Serrated's another modifier I'm looking for. Also, I need to learn this. <laughs> yeah, so this Trukin, I'm looking to get giant hands. I've also installed a couple cybernetics already. Nav system and pentacepts. I'm looking to get giant hands. That's my favourite. And then get a gun rack and go crazy dual wielding like uh, heavy weapons. You got a quasi-morph question. Do the enemies scale regardless if you succeed or fail a mission? If you fail a ton in one try like 10 times and kept retrying naked... Um, no, they, as far as I know, they don't scale. I never quite noticed that. I did have one mission um, on YouTube that I failed four times back to back because I had to do it real quick, but I had to kill like 25 people on each floor. And I kept hitting a thousand quasimorphosis and you know what happens then. And uh, yeah, it was it was uh, it was intense. Those videos did really well, by the way. People love Quasimorph. There's a new uh, update supposedly coming out next week, or it might even be this week for um, Quasimorph. Flaming bro, you know what? I'll take the chem cell. I'll disassemble everything else. Ah, that's what was dealing damage to me. I'm looking for the legendary. Should be around here somewhere. And that is them. Oh, that's bad. I don't like being teleported like that. Should be okay. Should be fine. Let's let my boys do some work here. Are you the legendary? No, you're just a regular Joe.
They really are everywhere. Right, looks like we're fine. Kind of. Grab that. Kill the friggin... Regular as well. You never hit a thousand. Oh it, man, it's really fun. I won't say any more. Okay, this is the legendary, hated by Cult of the Coiled Lamb. Dude, you gotta stop doing that, man. Nice friggin' teleport, idiot. It's over for you. Okay. Cult of the Curled Lamb like me a bit more now, which is pretty much useless. There's only one of them in the game as far as I know. He's the guy that you buy and sell, well, that you sell Resha Floor. Two. Don't know why I'm killing these guys, they only give us two XP now. Okay, good amount of XP down here. Glad we came here, to be honest. Last in slippers is good money. Freeze grenade. And a compy bracelet. Alright. Silver nugget there, just drop. Shit. Um I think we need to rip apart some of these rifles. Ghost for and a skull conjecture, not bad. Right, you should now disassemble the rest of the rifles on the floor. Good stuff. Alright, cool. That was a nice little side trip. Actually, go and grab the... Go and grab the chest from in here. I'm going to drop it off at the still. You know what? I'm kind of feeling bold and that we should go for an early Ezra. If we can get to Ezra early, we can guarantee... Well, not guarantee, but we can hope for some really good trades. And some decent... Um, Bionics as well. You said enough for you to not avoid it. You know, there you can take like, you can smoke cigarettes and things as well to lower your quasimorphosis. Oh yeah, we're inspired. We should really... We'll cook up one horse shroom here. And let's, uh... Let's go freeze-dried horse shrooms with spine fruit jerky you can use quills at level five to six um 10 percent max hp 75 percent charge it's your skin doesn't develop that's really good that's really really good actually okay awesome right uh let's go drop this stuff back off at the the stilt yeah, that was an easy pick there. By the way, new uh, new tutorial coming out this evening. Uh, in one and a half hours for cooking, if you're interested. Um, okay, we leveled up again and we are again inspired. So let's do that. Let's use it. And stats are looking good. Uh, don't want those. You know what I wouldn't mind? Is, um... We should probably spec into single weapon fighting. I've been holding off just because it's so powerful and I'm constantly taking it now. 
You know what would be great is Mind Over Body. Have you ever seen, have you ever really used Mind Over Body? It's really good. Read that description. Video idea, deep dives. Like you take attack and you analyze the whole map. That is an idea that I've already started working on for combat. In this game is the, is the, the math behind it. It's, uh, it's not going to be easy, but... Whee! Alright, let's take single weapon fighting. Also, I did want to take charging strike. Let's take this first, since we already have the points. And then let's grab single weapon fighting as usual, because we're boring. Good stuff. Um, I don't think people have restocked yet. I don't think there's been enough time. Let's just double check now. Yeah. Just a haberdasher. Alright, let's cook. And then let's, uh, let's keep moving here. This time we'll go, we'll go random for canned habit all, and we'll go freeze dried and star apple jam Whenever you deal cold damage Sid Treefish is now following Sid Treefish, thank you very much for the follow Appreciate it immensely, hope you are well Welcome And Namaste Uh, can you use cryokinesis? Pretty good Oh, hold on though. Whenever you take damage, there's a 16 to 20% chance you gain 125 to 175 cold resist for 50 turns. Hmm, I'm torn. This bottom one's really good for when we get to Bethesda Sousa. Like, incredibly good. Even 50 turns. If that pop, if that like procs whilst we're fighting our Rhymewick, that could be incredible. You're welcome, mate. Getting back into cut after a long break. Oh, glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yeah, they just released the last week the uh, the new update for all of the the new uh, Gush Nephilim stuff. Thank you very much for uh, for lurking, Sid. Appreciate it immensely. Uh, you can also check out my YouTube channel if you want more cud stuff. I've uh, been trying to focus on making some tutorials recently. It's been going okay so far. Uh, I'll take cryokinesis for now, just because it'll be fun to have cryokinesis if we want it. Level 3, not bad. Anyway, we've got single weapon fighting, which is beautiful. Um, let's get the hell out of here. I did say I was feeling bold, and that I wanted to maybe go to Ezra. What do you guys think? Do we have at least 50 points? We do. That means we can take jungle wilderness law here. Thing is, it only takes one friggin' goat folk sower in the wrong place to, to mess us up. Also, there's a historic site right there. Well, let's be smart here, you know. Let's uh let's start by maybe going to Rust Wells and finishing that quest. Don't get lost, don't get lost. We'll get this quest over and done with, because you know how I feel about this quest. I.e. I think it smells. Stay away from the kudzu, for the love of god. Alright, let's grab all of this wire. Please stay away from the kudzu, my friend. Okay, no auto-explore. We're officially banned from auto-exploring. Unless I want to change my settings, which I really can't be bothered to do right now. Grab this. Grab this, please give me a 50. No, that's another 3. Let's go downstairs. Big hits only, big hits only. Nick. Good use of our... Uh, Right, so I do like to kill bats down here, because if there's a slumberling, they will fight it, because they're incredibly dumb. Yeah. 
interesting. Look at this wall. Would you like something? When I spotted her, I caught myself mid-step, mid-breath, mid-thought. Dude, this wall is spitting bars. Okay, let's make back that rusted thing that we just lost. Okay, nothing else there. How far are we into this? Doesn't tell me though, I thought it did for some reason. Not my electrical bronze dagger that I was never going to use. Oh no. Well, you know what? Let's find the uh, the way down because we're going to have to find it on the way back. Otherwise, we might as well find it now. Through you. These kudzu are all in very tactical locations where I can't quite shoot them straight away. Okay, not there. It is of course in the last place that we look, as always. Comes an electrofuge. Kinda scared. Okay, no matter, he's dead. Spitting bars like the pub bathroom still. Yeah, tell me about it. You know what, there's like there's, there must be a, like a, an Instagram page or something, but I've seen some of the most incredible, funny, poignant, um, like, poems ever written on, you know, the side of, like, a, a shitter. It's so funny, man. I should start uh, taking photos every time I see a good one. I'll be going to a pub this weekend, so I'll uh, I'll keep an eye out. I will uh, I will let you know if I find any good stuff. Okay, more wire. Screw you. Screw you. Okay, good. More wire. Very nice. All right. Nearly there. Oh, there goes our bronze dagger. Oh, there goes our rifle. Fucking hell, man. Hold on. How much to repair you? EC2. Yeah, we can afford it. You tinkering? Hey, okay, we got a prickler over here. These guys are good for, for getting XP. 62 XP from that guy. Okay, I want to find the way down. We already know it. I'm a dum-dum. Let's go. Depending on where you go, you can get quality stuff written. Construction site lose a bottom tier for sure. Yeah, I can't say I've really had a look in many construction site lose, but uh, I can imagine. Yeah, the... Uh, I don't know. The artistic intellect is maybe a little bit lacking in that regard. For the most part, which is a massive stereotype. But I think, I think the best place to go for quality... Uh, Toilet graffiti is probably like um, where where where's sort of posh but would still have graffiti. Maybe like yeah, they're not dumb. They're just yeah childish, which I can totally relate to. I think uh, I think maybe like um, jazz bars. Yeah, I've seen some good one in just just straight up gig venues as well. Um. You go to a Weatherspoons in a nicer area, perhaps? Ooh, my favourite. No worm skull.
You know how freaking good this is this early on in the game? I mean, the fact that we're playing... Grab the chest. Also, there's a hundred... We're done. You know, the fact that we're playing a, a Trukin right now, with um, single weapon fighting, makes this matter less, but if we grab giant hands, you're gonna see. This two-handed still Warhammer will go in one hand. Love it. You don't have a Weather Spoons in Oz. What is your equivalent to Weather Spoons, Sid Tree? Also, interesting that you're watching me from Australia. We don't get many Aussies around here. If we do, they often live in different countries. Let's freaking go. Helping hands, baby. And we're done with this shithole. Which means we can go to Gritgate. I think we go straight for Gritgate because there's a chance if we get decent Gritgate spawn that we can get incredibly lucky with uh, items. Alright, take the wire. Take the wire and fuck off. Um, I haven't seen this before. Interesting. How much do you want to bet if we make it to the end of the game we're going to ne really need that and we're like damn I wish I bought that. Um, let's go speak, oh yeah let's take the mission first. They added a wire maker furniture in Ezra. You didn't use it but discretion said it can make wire out of nuggets. Really? Interesting. Isn't it 5am in Aussie? Most people just go to clubs. Local sports clubs. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's nearly 10am. How many time zones you got over there? Fur hat would be kind of nice. Definitely need to cook up. Excuse me, we definitely need to cook up some of our um, some of our shit here. We're pretty heavy, too heavy for my liking. Um, yeah, let's go cook up some of our raw ingredients here. See how much it lowers, and eh, not by much. Right, so we can now go to grit gate um we're gonna probably have to drop some stuff on the way if i can get there now i'll be very happy unless we pick up books if we pick up books we may get sidetracked interesting map There's a glow moth somewhere, where? You. Let's let our boys deal with it. Yeah, we've got the glow moth. 75 XP for that. Place is chaotic, dude. There's three time zones. Queensland doesn't observe daylight saving, so it gets awkward. Also, South Australia does 30... That's even weirder. And considering everybody lives in South Australia, more or less. Or at least they live, like, you know, east or south, right? Like, nobody lives in north or west, generally speaking. I personally don't like daylight saving time. Um, I hate it. I hate. Uh, I hate the the long 
dark mornings. Yeah, South Australia, but I'm talking about, like, um, just in general. Like, most people live in, like, Melbourne or Adelaide. Um, wait, no, Adelaide is on the west coast, right? Is that the... What's the one big city that's on, like, the, the, the west coast? Like, the really big one. Isn't there a big difference in sun times in the UK? Um, yeah, kind of. I mean, right now it gets dark at like 4.30. Um, it still gets light relatively early, but not as early as... Perth is the one, that's right. Do you think more people live in Perth or in Canberra? Is Canberra even technically a city? I mean, it must be, right? We're hoping for big, big trades at the Grit Gate, by the way. The two hour difference. Canberra is a city. I know it's the capital. Really, I'm further north than you. That's crazy, because whenever I think of Canada, I think, oh man, that's so far north. But yeah, I probably am further north than you. Okay, optical bioscanner could be interesting one to install. Just need giant hands. Give me big, massive friggin' mitts, dude. Give me that as well. You're telling me there's nowhere else to explore. Break this. Oh no. Oh, this is a job for the boys. You guys deal with that. I'm going to wait over it. Thank you. Oh, hello. It would be a shame if you died before you got to sunder my mind. And also, thank you for a counterweighted carbide battle axe. I appreciate that. Some weird stuff over here. What, what was that? It's broken. Hmm. Looks like a sewing machine. Be a good place to level up, although I am very worried we're going to get very quickly over encumbered here. We're halfway up in Quebec. The thing with Canada is the biggest cities are all on the southern border. Yeah, that's true. Oh, was that the wire maker, Cyanomaniac? Every time I say your name, it makes me think of Animaniacs. Do you remember that? Great show. Always take glow spheres, they're worth good money. Good, good money. If I had a hairy fanny in a rich man's world. Alright, get rid of this guy, please. Come on, there we go. Alright, heal up. Get looting. Get scooting. Slug snouts. Don't forget about the slug snouts. Sometimes you get these really amazing rooms here that are just full of like decent mid tier. I found a poly gel, I think, at one point in a chest here in Grit Gate. Gold conjector. 
grenade. Has anyone played the um Has anyone played the uh the Metal Gear Solid uh Sons of Liberty and Snake Eater remake yet? How is it? If so. Used to be my all time favourite game. I was thinking about getting it. Okay, we're about to get encumbered. Or over encumbered, rather. Hold up. That was a Templar. We don't let Templars live in. He's already dead. Okay, never mind. Um. If I had a hurry, hurry. All right, let's uh, let's drop some stuff here. Grief. Um, drop the long sword. Let's grab the carbide. Can't say you played any of the Malgo Solid games. Not your thing. You know what? I think everybody, regardless of what you're into, would enjoy the Phantom Pain. That game's got stealth, it's got action, it's got... Don't get ganged up on like that. That could have gone very bad real quick there. Getting distracted. Phantom Pain, in my opinion, the greatest stealth game ever. Love it. Lots of really cool uh, things to build and, and find and do. Definitely a fun, like, completionist type game. You know what I mean? Stay on the stairs. Stop slipping. Slippy, watch out. Bulky on your tail. Do you guys remember a game called Lilac Wars? I think it was called something different. It might be called Star Fox Adventures in, the, in North America. It was called Lilac Wars here in the UK. It was the... the the game for N64. The first Metal Gear on PlayStation was so revolutionary. Yeah, totally. It's the stealth game aspect you don't like. Well, then that's why you would like uh, Phantom Pain. Because that is the least stealthy. You can play it stealth or you can go in guns blazing and just cause some chaos. You were It was called Lilac Wars in Australia as well, Sid. It was fucking awesome. That game was so good. I need a new game like that in my life. A little bit of Monica. When is uh, Lou, Lou Vega going to release Mumbo number 6, by the way? I've been waiting for ages. Two hand is still... That's what we're kind of using already. Oh, look at this. The mother load. <gasps> okay, this is... Uh, you know what? Do it from here. This is three levels. Get this fucking robot out of the way, trying to steal my... Okay. Back here. How are you getting past? Hey, we made it to Gritgate. Congratulations. You're a true card enjoyer. Okay, now we ask for entry for the purpose of trade and we can go speak to Mafeo. Mafeo will sell you unlimited ammo, essentially. Look at that. He also has a, a recoiler here and he sells you... Hmm, liquid cord, no. He also sells a pickaxe if you need it. Probably buy the Blaze Injector. But come to 156. I think we can afford that. We should get rid of some of the heavier weapons that we're carrying here. Perfect. Our recoiler stuff. 
you've started again on Vintage Story. Oh, you know what, T-Rex, I was just saying earlier, I'm I'm kind of in a Vintage Story kind of mood at the moment as well. Star Fox Adventure was the third person action game. Underrated. So that's different from Lilac Wars, is it? Because if so, I actually never played Star Fox Adventure. I never had like a GameCube or any Nintendo after the N64. But yeah, T-Rex, Vintage Story. Oh, so good. You know, if you guys were up for um, like doing a, a, a server at some point, I would be up for that. I think the only thing we'd need to sort out is uh, food spoilage whilst we're offline. How do we feel about visiting uh, the Ape Village here? We can speak with Yerl and hopefully get some okay trades. I think we go for it. Do we want to fight goats? I'm going to say yes. This may be a stupid idea. If there's a sower though, we need to leave. I do hear a sower in the background throwing grenades. Look at that scumbag. This is at least going to level me up. And there is our juicy, juicy attribute point. Um, bing bong, bing bing bong. Give me extra strength right now. Save for conk. Or well, we probably go weapon expertise actually. Wait for the sower to come. Oh, you're about Alright, let's, um... Let's be smart about this here. Didn't want that to happen. Hate this. I think he may have just killed the, uh, yeah, the sower. Oh, this is bad, guys. Why did we do this? I knew we weren't ready. What's this though? Beautiful charge. That's because we have penticeps. You see how far he charged then? Right, let's try and keep these guys uh, busy. Right, you're both going for him, huh? Interesting. Stun gas. Okay, we got 30. We just need armor value is what we're lacking right now. Five armor value is not good enough. Right. Now we let meditate kick in. I think we're good. Famous luck. Nope. I hate that they can shoot me over the trees. That's such nonsense. Right. Beautiful hit. Honestly. Ooh, we got a light obfuscating lens here as well. And a masterwork hammer. That is our new weapon for now. It does slightly less damage, but it has better penetration, I think. These are marked as scrap, so let's rip that apart. We aren't ripping it apart. Why is that? What do we smell? Suspicious. You love VS. Never got to steal yet. No, me either. What is Vintage Story? It's like a really cool um, survival focused realistic Minecraft. But also it's got like it's got it's got so many cool systems in it. It's got everything from preserving food, you know, cooking food, preserving it in a cellar underground where it spoils less quickly to seasons to growing times. It's It's really cool. For a multiplayer server to work, you need some kind of regular commitment to log in. Otherwise, you wake up in the middle of winter and there's no food for anyone. Well, that's true. Wait a bit for 1.19. It'll be worth it. More wildlife. 
When is that coming out, T-Rex? I'm happy to uh, to wait for that. Grab this carbide gear. We'll grab the molly netting. That strange plant is going to be a sower seed. Puma kite invest. Equip. Much gooder. Much more gooder than before. Two-handed battle axe. Also worth taking. We are... Well, we are at capacity right now, though. I don't know why you won't rip this apart. What's wrong with you? Let's just check our weapon here. No, this is 8-pen. 8-pen 2d4, as opposed to 7-pen 2d3. Okay, I take it back. This is way better. Let me drop the studded leather armor, since it's quite heavy. Any other stinkers here? Yeah, a big stinker. Look at the range on those grenade throws, man. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Idiot almost stunned me. We are kind of past which would bark at this point. I don't like this yurt warden. He's using folded carbide, that's why. Perfect. I kind of want to finish this village off, if I'm being honest. My own hubris is enough to keep me here. Go, go, temporal fugue. Please stop stunning me like that. Advanced toolkit. Totally worth it. That's why we came back. Oh, <gasps> Yes. You know how much money this is worth? And a counterweighted carbide folding hammer. This is still less penetration. Unbelievably. We take all of this and we drop. Man, plaster for gear. Oh, I know what we can do. We can cook. Preserve all of our garbage here. Okay, that only puts us one pound overweight. Honestly, get rid of all these Isocar rifles. And drop the bow. They're only at 5 AV. A bit scary. We do need more AV than that for sure. You can't tinker Puma Chitin. Interesting. Yeah, we need giant hands. Okay. Let's do a quick auto explore of this place. Hey, Claiborne. How you doing, my dude? Thank you for the lurk, man. Right. Now, what do you have for me? Grab that. What does the cucumber do again? I forget what cu... Let's get the cucumbers. I don't know what effects they add to um to cooking, but I'm... I'm willing to, to try and... Bing bong. Oh, that's so lucky. Are there weird Lovecraftian? Yes. 
there are indeed weird Lovecraftian horrors in an uh, inventive story. When it gets dark, or if uh, you're near a, a temporally unstable location, uh, bad things can happen. Really cool looking game though. Um, look at this though, plaster for jerkin, already 400, just for that. I would love to buy this Neutron Flux. I don't want either of those. I don't want the Lover's Blossom. Nor the grenades, nor the glow spheres. Oh, I think I think we I think we might get there, possibly. Possibly not though. Pretty damn close. I mean, the wine alone is worth a whole bunch. Sell the basic toolkits. We'll put a battery in the advanced. Um, I never going to use realistically rubber gum probably and shade oil there we go we got ourselves some neutron flux <sighs> and we also freed up a whole bunch of weight in our inventory all right there's the recoiler it's of course a sower seed and so in there for now do we have a Sphinx Salt Injector? One. Hmm. Let's take the mission here. Like by dogs, strangers, and villagers. Kind of suck, man. Generic you know, Glover. Mm. Not that interested right now. We'll come back for it later. Um, is it worth using our single Sphinx Salt Injector to drink this Neutron Flux? How dare we not bring up the Lovecraftian horror when you asked what it was. <laughs> hey, Batnam. Yeah, still going. Still going indeed. Um... We really try for Ezra. As long as we don't get lost, we we could sort of get there okay. Sort of. What do you think, chat? We gotta go from here to here. It means getting access to a decent trader. I think if we if we play it safe. And if we don't get lost, roasted boar, we say no. Ruins, we say maybe. We just mark it on our map. And then if we can, we leave immediately. God, I want to look around though. I really do want to look around. I'm my own worst enemy. What happened to my temporal fuse? Flames? There they are. What are you attacking? Oh. Hey, good, good, good. 
Oh, that's a puma. Get the stun lock on it. Beautiful. Right, heal up a moment. Wait until few comes off cooldown. Grab these. Grab the salt hopper mandible as well. Oh, that's what I didn't want to see. Get him, boys. Why are you still shooting at me? Let's just wait and see if they can kill. Bro, if you guys went into melee. One down. Heal up. Let few come back. Hold on. Okay, glad to have some apes here. Also, we are inspired. You know what? We are going to use our Sphinx Salt Injector and we're going to drink that Neutron Flux. And we're going to cook along with some pickles and some canned have it all for randomness. Uh, can use Intimidate. Gain plus two on the ego roll. Plus, uh, whenever you take damage, there's a chance you don't thirst. Whenever you drink fresh water, there's a chance you gain eight strength for 50 turns. That sounds pretty sweet. Thank God. Thank God we use our Sphinx Salt. Do you see what just happened there? We died. We procced it. We procced the 10% the chance to implode. Have you been having a good stream? I have. Thank you very much, Bat Batnam. You know what? Since that happens, I'm gonna, f I'm gonna, I'm gonna drink it. I'm gonna drink it again. I'm gonna drink it again. Whoa. Yeah, it can't happen twice in a row, right? That was a big risk there. Would love more Sphinx Salt. Got lots of apothecaries to talk to. Alright, I think we're done here. Alright, good stuff. Now, let's keep taking it slow. Ugh, more ruins. Yeah, and let's just be, be careful. Alright, Nathali, I don't really care about. The Fire Ant is a bit more annoying, though. I don't want to shoot myself. Okay, here comes the Chrome Idol. Still better than fighting goat folk, you know? Fresh F floor. Nice. These are the guys you want to watch for here. They can hobble you. Thank you. Okay, no goat folk, which is nice. Okay, slowly... Slowly getting there. It's a bad omen. So is the electric snail. You guys deal with that. Don't stun yourself though, you idiot. Did you kill the snail? I think so. Who the hell is this? Badly wounded. Perfect. We looted it as well. We grabbed the uh, the snail shell. 
wait for that gas to pass. Me after a uh, burrito. And I'd, I'd bloody love a burrito right now. Even though I literally had minced beef for dinner today. Oh no. Look who's back. I know he's around the corner. You know what? Why even risk it? Get him. Alright, they're down. Nice and quick. Oh, that's me. I thought that was my twin. No, don't stun me here! They threw a stun gas grenade and then fucked off. HP. What do we do here? Bearing in mind they've grabbed us right now. They threw they threw a stun gas. My my fault for holding stun gas grenades. Stupid. I don't think we witch would. It doesn't heal enough anymore. Hold on. I mean, it doesn't really matter what we take here. These all pretty much heal. 0 0.6 0 0.9 I don't think there's a way out of this realistically speaking Threw a f they threw a fucking stun gas grenade, my temporal few clones, and they just vanished. And had me... <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I didn't pick up the yonder cane. I forgot to take the quest at the still. Damn. Would have been a perfect time to use it. Alright, well, we pop the salve injector, and then if it, if it works, if we survive, I I'll eat another witchwood, I guess. I don't think we'll survive, personally. Where's? Just check where he is. He's right there. Alright, no more of that, please. Just fuck that grenade. Alright. Oh, baby, that was a close one. I do like killing these things though, they give a whole bunch of XP. If this guy comes... Oh, you can actually do that. Very impressive. Beautiful stuff. Definitely need some more strength. I do feel that. Weird. Are we good? We are not good. Magnetized boots as well. Very cool. Yeah, maybe we should um, not just explore every ruins. This problem is ruins. When I hear ruins, I hear books. And when I hear books, I hear... Oh my god. You know? You know how it is.
Why are you not disassembling these Isakar rifles? Did I turn off treating them as scrap? I must have done. My bad. Cool. Alright. No. Take the shortest route around the river here so we don't get lost. Alright. Oh baby, it's morphin time. Um. You shot me in the back of the head, man. Good, 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 good. Let's grab this. Now we stay the hell out of the jungle for now. <clears throat> Alright, we made it to Ezra, ladies and gents. God, we're good at staying alive. Alright, yeah, give me all of this. Plus we get access to a juicy recipe right now as well. Juicy recipe for me. Juicy recipe for me. It's a juicy recipe for me. All right. Um, let's speak to the old robot here. See what rep you've got. Just everybody loves you. Welcome. I don't have oil. Never mind. I sold it. I guess uh, smell you later. What about the tree? Hated by cannibals and roots. But you are loved by trees, and that's enough for me. Is. Trees are now indifferent. Perfect. <clears throat> Alright, let's go and speak to Sixru. This is our first decent trader of the game. Lawless Crystal Gauntlets. Probably a whole bunch more really good shit. First and foremost, though, we need Herbreeze. Desperately. Everything goes towards herberries before we buy anything else. Yeah, we we definitely need some ego. We are struggling in, in the in the money department, which is unusual because normally we really really push getting a ridiculous amount of ego. But it doesn't matter. The important thing is, we come here. That's the thing. We can only really buy... I'm going to buy three of them, because I'm going to need to save for the recoiler as well. Fine. Okay, we, we are officially in the herbary market now, which is good news. Right, let's drop this chest here. Actually, not here. Let's drop it, like, here. We can use this to store any loot that we want to bring back here to sell later on. <clears throat> okay, we need this. He also has a whole bunch of really... Really nice, uh... Uh, really nice cybernetics. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's sell one skulk. And let's see what you have here. 20 drams to ID, that's quite expensive. 12 drams. 20... You know that's going to be like gun rack or something. Thing is, we do need to start IDing stuff. Beautiful visage. That's actually really decent. Plus two ego. Pretty cheap as well. One I would like, I forget the name. It's not expensive. Gun rack. Bing bong gun rack. Now there is no way in hell right now that we can afford that, unfortunately.
However, it gives us something to aim towards. 380. Didn't mean to do that. Got excited. Um... So what that means is like that now we we have to kind of explore the jungle around us maybe and muster up enough trash to buy gun rack because I don't know how often that's going to come back up. It's not very common. I kind of wish I hadn't bought those uh <laughs> those herbaries now. Not going to lie. But there you go. Anyway, it doesn't matter because we will be doing that next time. Because uh, I need to head off. Um, I just want to say again, thank you all so much for uh, for being here today. Thank you for the raid, all that good stuff. I love it so much. You guys are incredible. You've really given me a great start to my week. Everybody that's still here and watched through the CUD... And through the, uh, what were we playing before? I don't even remember. It was a lifetime ago. Let's, uh, let's raid out, shall we? Let's see who's online. Why don't we go send a raid over to... Oh, I'll tell you what, we'll go raid Vormifrax. He's playing Vintage Story. He's also an OG... Um, Cataclysm player. Thank you guys so much for being here today. All the follows, everybody. Sid, thanks for being here, man. Nice to meet you. I will be back tomorrow at 6pm GMT for some more CUD. And maybe some more We Who Are About To Die as well. Take it easy, T-Rex. Thanks for being here. Cyanomaniac, you guys are all great. I'm going to send out the raid now, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Take it easy. Bye-bye. People have done everything in the world for me. Doesn't that give me equal rights? I can do anything I want.